Hey guys, how's it going tonight? Um, just doing a quick little video. Um, I don't know if any of you guys are on Herbert Riley's channel, but um, so tonight he was coming back from Melbourne um, to Geelong and obviously got to the COVID-19 checkpoint. Yeah, and um, so he got stopped there. <coughs> He did a video on when he got stopped. He served him with cease and desist notices. Um, so, and then they insisted on, like, obviously, they grabbed him, handcuffed him, taken him off to the station. So, I, like, knew he was coming home, so I'm, like, keeping tabs on him. And it's moving, it's moving, it's moving slowly. And he got to the little river exit. And his car stopped moving. Because, of course, I track him. <laughs> Um, he does know that. Um, so he'd sent me a message basically saying, so like, uh, he's my property. Um, and so I, I'm taking ownership of him. So anyways, they've obviously locked him up. I noticed he hadn't moved for like an hour and a half. I tried calling a Melbourne station. I'm struggling to get through. Police station, that is, like Victoria Police Corporation. Anyway, um, rang up one of the COVID hotlines, right, trying to work out who's running the checkpoint. And uh, I just crack it. I go, fuck it. I ring Colac. So I ring Colac Police Station. Um, so I got onto the lady there. She was a bit confused about how I could own Herbert Riley. Uh, she wasn't too sure about that anyway, so she she, she seemed to be a bit concerned. So obviously, because my property has been stolen, stolen, that's very concerning. Um, so she put me through to a senior sergeant or a sergeant or some, you know, shit talker. Um, so he obviously, he he's on the line. She's filled him in, obviously makes me go through it all again i go okay so this is how it is i guess so um my property was traveling you know got to this point it stopped now i believe you guys may have stolen it your corporation may have stolen it okay i'm hoping not <laughs> like you know but you know that that's my gut feeling at this moment i go my property hasn't moved. So, and then he goes, oh, so what's your property? I go, oh, Herbert Riley of the Biddle family. So anyway, so um, he, but he goes, oh, or, 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 you know, he can't, kind of tries to tell me I can't own someone. And well, how do you own him? I go, well, he gets like something. He writes down that I, Herbert Riley of the Biddle family, am now property of... Blake Connor of the Dean family. Anyway, and he's like, oh, oh, oh. I go, it's like the same as if you buy a car or a motorbike or a house or whatever. It's, they just write it out and that's how it is. So anyway, I called them at seven o'clock on the dot. Um, probably spent 10, 15 minutes on the phone to him, I need to double check that, it wasn't too long, anyway, so, and he, like, offered, okay, he goes, oh, are you at, you know, this address, I go, oh, I go, no, I'm not, so, obviously, I'm near it, I'm not there, um, so, I don't know how they got that, so, like, I, I hadn't given my full name, I'd only given my first name, Blake, I go, like, and they go, oh, well, where are you? I go, oh, I didn't, didn't give that detail. And they go, okay. He goes, so when, it, yeah, that last lady asked that. So they, and he goes, oh, so you, are you at, you know, this dress? I can no, man. Go, on. didn't say, you know, three minute walk away according to the Apple Maps. So, um, so then I go, okay, so he's going, oh, well, I'm a bit concerned. And I'm going, well, yeah, I would be a bit concerned. Someone's property's been stolen. And he goes, oh, I find it a, I, he goes, oh, where are you? I go, well, that's none of your business. He goes, oh, well, I'm a bit, a bit, I find it a bit odd. 
I go, oh, what's odd? I haven't mentioned a five or a three. I go, ah, oh, there's been one man stolen. <laughs> and so he got a bit fucking cranky. He didn't like that one, but anyway. Um, so then he goes, oh, well, oh, I might have to send someone out to see you. I go, oh, I go, no, thank you. And he goes, oh, rah, rah, blah, blah, whatever, talking shit. And you're like, oh, well, I go, if you're, you know, proposing to send someone out to the address you gave me, I go, you've already been trespassed from that property, your corporation. I go, so I don't think that's a good idea, mate. And so then that was about the end of it. And he goes, oh, well, I think this is all I can do for you. Or, yeah, something like that. And I go, oh, I go, what you can do is I go, you can ring them up, I go, and you can tell them to return my property, I go, release my property immediately. And he hung up on me. So anyway, then like, buddy, 20 minutes, 25 minutes or something went by and it gets to 7.45. And my phone rings. And I'm thinking, oh, yeah, it'll be the Apollo Bay Police Station, whatever, fuck wits. No, it was Herbert. He just got back to his car. So I don't know whether it was Herbert, and I'll try and link his video if I can. Um, if not, go over, check him out. Herbert Riley is his YouTube. He does a heap of videos. Um, and obviously I'm in a few of his, his and... Yeah, story is obviously in this one and going to be in many more. Um, he gives them a hard time and he's not going to give up anytime soon and I really like the way he does it. Um, he does take it a bit too far, I think, sometimes, but yeah, each to their own, I guess. I'm just doing my part to help him out when I can. Um, and, yeah, if, you know... Anyone else is concerned they're going to get locked up, I'm happy to bloody log on to your Apple ID and track your phone. <laughs> Keep tabs on you and make a bloody phone call to try and help you get out if you need that help. Or Herbert will be up for bloody helping you. Um, you know, just message us on here or... Um, and yeah. So he got out, so he reckoned he was 20 minutes from leaving Werribee Station to get back to his van. So, like, that was, you know, if that's 20 minutes, that's about three minutes after I reckon I got off the phone to them coppers. So, whether it was that or they just had enough of his shit and decided to let him go, I do not know. But it would be interesting to know because I'm tipping it was some sort of a combination. I reckon they got that phone call and they're going to, Oh, fuck, we got two of them under us now. Two for the price of one today, boys. Anyway, have fun. Keep, uh, yeah, just have fun with your contracts and don't contract with the fuckers unless they're giving you money. Sorry it's so dark. Um, and I'll see you on the next one.